Hi, um, it's Kaylee again for a health update. It's still very difficult for me to type um, because of arthritis and tendonitis pain in my hands and arms, so I'm trying to give video updates when possible, which hasn't really been possible the last two months, but finally, suddenly, it is. I feel almost normal. It's, I'm, you know, normal for um, someone who has late stage Lyme and is used to feeling hellish all the time. I feel so much more energy and I wanted to share that I got back from my follow-up with Dr. Smith in Idaho for Lyme Stop and just wanted to give an update on how that went. Um, my first treatment in Idaho was November, beginning of November, and I had already, um, I had been diagnosed in uh, May, late May, June, actually, late June, and I had started with ozone IV treatment, and that caused me to either herx so badly or react to the magnesium IVs that I was getting so badly that I had to, I couldn't even walk upstairs, I couldn't open my eyes, I was so light sensitive, so in pain, had such horrible postural orthostatic tachycardia syndrome symptoms with the heart, and, um, extreme fatigue. So I was shipped home to Seattle from Washington, D.C. to be cared for by my parents. And um, so after I stopped the nine IV installments of ozone, I started to see doctors in, in Seattle. And at first they were saying that I wouldn't be able to handle um, antibiotic treatment that I would need either via IV or orally. Um, until I tried to kind of repair my gut because my gut was so damaged. I've gotten C. diff before from antibiotics, C. difficile, and also I apparently had SIBO and um, protozoal infection was really affecting my stomach. So I went on um, Alenia as well as Rifaximin to treat those, and that was awful. In September and October, I felt like... Um, really, you know, frequent urination, but almost uncontrollable, um, and, like, it kind of felt like people were scraping out my hips, and just a lot of awful symptoms, um, and so then I decided to, instead of go down the route of antibiotics for, like, two years, as was suggested, I wanted to try something, um, that was natural and non-invasive, so I tried Lime Stop, and in November... Um, for the first week after treatment, I felt amazing energy, um, in addition to some, like, kind of shooting pains that were kind of weird, um, but I felt really good energy, and then once I went on the no-protein diet in week two and went on some of the methylation supplements that he has you on, um, as well as really high doses of magnesium, which I've had bad luck with before, then I, you know, had, like, diarrhea 12 times a day, and I totally crashed, and so for the next two months in November and December, I was, like, almost completely bedridden, and it was kind of hard to get in touch with the Idaho office, because it was the holidays, and they were gone, but, um, finally, you know, they had gotten back to me and encouraged me to go really slowly on, these supplements because I have methylation issues, which most people with Lyme and hypermobility syndrome do. And so I finally went off of um, most of the, the supplements that they had told me to do finally in the beginning of January. And um, for one reason or another, I started to feel really great. I also had done kind of a detox protocol. Um, with Saluna detox little liquid kits, and I was doing dry skin brushing and Epsom salt baths every day and um, a lot of different things, and lymph drainage massages every week. Um, I was, I've been doing cranial sacral every two weeks, so I've been doing um, a lot of kind of supportive things. And um, But uh, a week before I went back for my follow-up, after two and a half months after Lyme Stop, I started to feel like really, really great. Felt like I can walk around and I can keep my eyes open. I'm hardly light sensitive anymore and I still have like limits in energy that are way more severe than I've ever had um, like before I got really, really sick. But I am so hopeful that 
this is an upswing and that it'll continue. I know that Lyme is a complete roller coaster. It has been so far for me, but this is as good as I've felt in a long time. And uh, my pain issues are still kind of bad, but they're definitely improving. Like in my neck, um, I was having vagus nerve inf infection in my jaw and neck, and uh, my hand and arm pain is, is really uh, getting a little bit better for the first time in 15 months, so I'm really excited. I don't know yet if it's because of Lyme Stop or if it's just another like retreat of the disease and I'm going to crash soon, but really exciting news is that I'm going back to DC February 2nd to continue treatment over there and be a little more independent. Um, and, and I have to go there anyway to, to kind of follow up on things. And, um, I may crash and I may come back to Seattle within a couple days or weeks, but that's the update. And I'm really, really glad that I tried Lime Stop. It was way more, um, affordable at the $3,000 for, for everything, for all the supplements and the treatments, um, compared with the other very expensive naturopathic treatment options that had been proposed to me, which would have cost about $6,000 a month. Not saying that those aren't necessary and that maybe I won't come back and be like, ah, oh, I should have done that. Um, so it's kind of hard to know for sure, but um, a lot of people have been asking me how it went and I just wanted to give people an update. Um, I still have, you know, like in the week after my follow-up recently, I was having like shooting pain up my spine and a lot of, I still am having like a lot of shooting pain in my stomach where he treated me saying that the, that I still had Lyme virus hidden in my small intestine, but that it was, um, that my heart and my liver and my central nervous system were doing a lot better. And I feel it. I don't feel as much brain fog. Um, everything does like my heart symptoms are, are calming down a lot. So um, I hope that things are looking up and I, I wish you all well in your healing journeys too. Every body is different. 